So it's my debut feature film. It's called The Space Between. Um, it is about a guy who discovers that his child is not his own and that his wife had taken his infertility into her own hands and she sleeps with the busboy at work who happens to be a redheaded university student. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's a road trip journey. A road trip journey. Yeah. Okay. So the film opens up with with uh, Mitch, the main character, played by Michael Cram, discovering that his child's not his own and he goes on this journey to find the biological baby daddy. I'm looking for uh, Danny Baker. Yes, sir, he's up at the University of Needleton. The film is a heartfelt comedy, so it's in the vein of like a Little Miss Sunshine. Do you even know what he looks like? No idea. So I wrote, directed, and produced the film, and then I have a, a, a small part in there as well. Um, but it stars Michael Cram, Sonia Saloma, um, Michael Ironside is in it, Julia Sarah Stone, who is so talented, is also in the film, and David Paco, who was on Flashpoint with me, is in there. And I surrounded myself with um, some good friends and some really talented people. I've really been enjoying doing the festival run with the film. I really love watching the film with an audience. I like to see what's working and what's not working. And um, and for indie films, it's basically, you know, this is a lot of the times, this is the life that the film gets. So it's really nice to, to watch it with people and, and see it come alive. Our world premiere was in Shanghai, which was really interesting and, and very cool. It was a packed house with subtitles, so that was fun. We did Sudbury and um, opening film in Carmel and Savannah and St. John's. and Yeah, we've had a, a good little festival run. It's been really nice to watch the film with, with good audiences. They seem to really like it. I think the film plays really well with, with an audience. and. Um, you know, every time I watch it, I'm going to figure out what I would have done different. Or, But that's the point in even doing each film is to grow as an artist. So um, I, I do really love to watch it with an audience to see what works and what doesn't work. I really screwed things up this time. <laughs> I like to make films that deal with sort of tough subjects and then bring levity to it. So in some way, if people can identify with some of the subjects that happen within the film, but then can find a little bit of levity within it, you know, then that's good. If you lived in Whistler, what job would you want to do? Um, this is gonna sound so stupid, uh, but I would open up like a little yoga studio, even though I'm, I don't teach yoga, but I would learn.